start with some brown sugar. Right. And then if you'll put in a tablespoon of salt. Okay. And then we've got two tablespoons of chili powder. Mix that in there. I love Gebhardt's. The, the palm That bowl. red one, that bright red one. Yeah. Real good. And then some Mexican oregano. oregano. About a teaspoon of that. And then we've got onion powder, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. Teaspoon so each? About a half teaspoon, teaspoon, you know, whatever your taste buds like. And you know, you can kind of play around with this. If you like it really spicy, add more cayenne. If you don't, then just leave it out. And then you just put it on these ribs and really like rub it in and get it on there. I'll massage your ribs any day, massage baby. Massage them. <laughs> Yes, and you get all that good flavor. I like. Yeah, Katie, do you let these set overnight or a couple yeah, hours or yeah. what? Yeah, so you put them in the fridge, let them go at least four hours. You can do overnight. I've got some in here that have already marinated. Dry rub. Dry rub. Right. And they come out looking like this. Beauteous. All good. And when you're dry brining, guys, do not cover your chicken or ribs or whatever you're curing. You leave it uncovered in your fridge on the lowest part of the fridge, and that's what helps really get that meat nice and tender yeah. and get you a good crust Takes on it. Takes out that moisture, yeah. Right. You can't trap in the moisture with the, with the plastic and get the same effect. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use a baking dish here and put in some chicken broth and a splash of apple cider vinegar. I always think with ribs, you got to have apple cider vinegar. I agree. You need that tang. I agree. And then you take the ribs and you put them it right in here, just like that. And when you open your cider vinegar, don't put it back in your pantry. Move it on over to the fridge so it doesn't get cloudy and lose its flavor. I didn't know that. Yep, once you open oh, it, move see, it to the I'm fridge. I learn something every time I come here. <laughs> All right, so you want to cover it with foil, and they're going to kind of steam in the oven. Pop them in the oven? Yeah, we're going to pop them in the oven. We've got some already in there cooking. Okay. Do you want to grab those? I'll, pop, I'll grab these. We'll put these in. You get the door, babe. And they're going to be so tender from that steaming in there. Steam up our ribby dibbies. Yeah, look at that. Ribby dibbies. Yeah. All right, so. And then you got to put them on the grill. All right, so then they're going to go onto the grill. And, and now get these are cooked, you're just crisping them up, essentially, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's going to get them nice and crispy, because you want that, like, crispy skin You want thing that char, yeah, yeah and the Look, crunch. they're falling apart. They're literally falling apart. Yum. So you take this yummy liquid here, the put it on the stove, reduce it down, and then I just add to it my favorite store-bought barbecue sauce. Yeah, put it in there. Put it in there. Oh, it's so good. There's so much flavor in there from the ribs. And then you just put in your sauce. You can make it homemade or you can buy your favorite. You're, you know, kind and then of cook it down. It up. Right. Cook it down like this. Then you just take it and brush it on those ribs as they're cooking. Oh. And the sugars in that are gonna make it get so nice and caramelized. I'm mm. drooling all over. So good. Like this, like Memorial Day weekend, July Forget 4th it. weekend. Right, right. Yeah, have some potato salad. Coleslaw. Boy, you guys are, you know, hungry after. God. 